And they were like king of the world too until Pearl Jam came along with that song Even Flow and f*** it up for all the 80s hair bands. That was a great song, man, but nobody knows what the hell they were singing about. Remember? So pain, something, something, something about a pillow hole made of concrete. He could have been singing about Spanish for all we know. But all the same instruction he has in the Spanish hole, friends of those. Was that a stone? The concept of delivering a Christopher Walken line. You have to wear your pants. Your pants. Up to your nipples. <laughs> You'll be surprised how high your voice goes each time your jelly beans roll from one pint leg to the other. <laughs> I can't believe I just smashed my nuts for six people to laugh at that joke. <laughs> Sorry about the small f***ing like this. Are you not, you're not on the date tonight or anything, are you? Okay, good. I have something to confess. It's... Last time I was on a date was last year, man. I took a girl to go see that movie, The Dark Knight Rises, that new Batman movie. That's a good movie, wasn't it? I loved everything about it except for Batman's voice. What the hell was that shit? He sounds like my dad when I walk in on him taking a shit. I just ate a big block of cheese. kick-ass reality shows like Dog the Bounty Hunter. That's a great show. Man. I love that show. He always says the craziest shit completely contradicts himself. He'll say crazy shit like this and be like, all right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to surround this house. We're going to break in. We're going to beat the living shit out of them. And then we're going to take their <laughs> to jail. Now let's pray. Dear Jesus. <laughs> Running around like some sort of white trash superhero with his bullet cape and shit. <laughs> He looks like what would happen if Jesse the Body Ventura made love to the Cowardly Lion. There's a visual for you. Who's a governor of Minnesota? Put it away. Anybody, you guys, the football season, the draft about to come up. Anybody, uh, anybody uh, excited about Johnny Manziel? Anybody like Johnny Manziel? I just hope that wherever he gets drafted, they uh, hire John Travolta to come up and announce his <laughs> name. <laughs> the number one pick in the NFL draft. The Houston Texas slip Johnny Yabba Dabba Doo and f it up. <laughs> I just got back from this uh, club. You guys got the, uh, what's it called? Camelot? The strip club? That's a hot woman there, man. I'll tell you what. I walked up to a girl last night. I was like, man, you are one hot stripper. She got pissed off all of a sudden. I was like, what the hell's her problem? She goes, you're not supposed to say stripper. Oh, sh said, you're a one hot stripper. <laughs> I was trying to connect, so what I did, I put a bunch of Viagra pills in an M&M &M bowl and I was handing it out to the other one. It was great, but it was very expensive, but uh, I wanted to keep it going. Here's the deal, I come out with my own product, I'm very excited about it. My product is so brand new, I don't even have a prototype. I'm gonna have to let this bottle of Corona represent my product while I do the commercial. Here's the deal though, I wanted to sell my product in a way that was unique, so I decided to use a cartoon character as my spokesperson. I'm gonna go ahead and do the commercial for you guys. It's actually an alternative to Viagra, it's called Castle Grayskull. Kings and the masters of the universe. I am Adam, Prince of Eternia, defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! 